Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play... <laughs> not Fallout, but Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. We've got uh, the Reno Piccolo over here. Hello. And its problems are lack of engine power and tapping sounds from engine bay. So two ignition coils and an idle roller. Or idler roller. Let's get that ignition coil. Two of them. And an idler roller. A, I believe. It was the A, right? Yes, it was the E. Uh, I mean, the A. <laughs> Good. Alright, so idler roller. I'm, we might have to get to the engine from... Well, there's the idler roller that we need to uh, get to. Um, oh yeah, and the, and the coils. No, 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 we're fine. We're fine. So we need to take uh, that off. I've also decreased the FOV, but it's sort of, it's sort of still sort of far away. I mean, it does zoom in, of course, when you're doing stuff, but I kind of wanted to stay close in all the time. So it's not a constant back and forth, back and forth. Oh, that's right. I mean, it's not because I'm complaining about it, but there you go. All right. Well, that's it. Now, which of the ignition coils are bad? These two. Alright, that was a really easy repair. There we go. That was it. That was it. Yeah, I'm a genius. Nice. Alright, next. What do we have? Man, I want uh, I want enough XP for that. Look, at this. they're just like saying, Nah, nah, you're not gonna get this. You're not gonna get this. Alright, find and fix any running gear problems. List provided and brake system needs fixing. Alright. Let's take that then. Another Reno Piccolo. So, running gear. Oh, man. Oh, bloody hell. ABS module as well. Interesting. Uh, ABS module, brake caliper. So, a disc and two ventilated discs. Alright. Brake disc. Disc and two ventilated discs. ABS module. 700! Yeah! Bloody hell. The pump is even more. That's crazy. Um, right, uh, we've got that. Brake pads and caliper. Brake pads and caliper. Uh, there's the pads. Now, what else do we need? Front drive axle C. I'm not even going to try to do several at a time. Front drive axle C, it said, right? Look at that D one. Bloody hell, 400. It's like for a truck or something. Wait. Oh yeah, it is the C. I thought it said A. Rear axle knuckle housing A. Rear axle knuckle housing A. There's a lot of wrong with this car. Rear sway bar A. Rear sway bar A. And rubber bushings. Now remember, I already have one. So we'll just buy two. Wheel hub bearing. Alright. Wheel hub bearing. Now the cool thing is, later on we can actually buy old decrepit classics and, you know, completely respray them, bring them back up to order, and then auction them off. I've never done that before, so it, that's gonna be quite interesting. All right. We need... I, I think the right lifter needs some love as well, so we'll need to do that at one point or another. It's kind of funny, you get two lifters, but usually... I guess I guess it could be okay if you're, you know, restoring a car over here and you have normal, you know, customer cars over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? Alright, so let's see. We've got both of these. Oh. Well, of course. Uh, we gotta take the wheel off. Off you go, screws! We don't need you right now, anyway. There's the drive axle. There we go. Assemble! Drive axles, assemble! Wait a second, that brake disc does not look very good. Indeed, it does not. Oh. Wait, what? What's going on? Why can't I take it off? Oh, there we go. Oh, I must have been targeting the pad instead of the... Uh, the disc. I mean, uh, the, uh, the calipers. 
There we go. What's the 17%? Yeah, that's that's not good enough. So there's a brand new one. Wait a second. No, 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 no. That one was still quite okay, so... I mean, the front brakes are more important, but eh, we don't care. It's not like uh, it makes any difference here. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And the wheel back on, of course. It would be kind of cool if you could test drive the car and, you know, actually feel and see all the changes you did. That would be kind of cool. But I guess also a lot more work. So that goes out. That brake caliper looks horrible. What have you been doing, sir? And the disc. That comes off. All right. A nice new shiny ventilated disc. There you go. And a brake caliper in much, much nicer condition. And back goes the wheel. Or the rim. Ow. My hand is... Ow. That's weird. Some pulsing pain in the right hand. It's weird. Anyway, uh, let's take this off. Look at all the rust here. What have you guys been doing? Jeez. All right. Take the brake, brake calipers. The pads are in horrible condition. What are they? 16%. Brilliant. Look at that thing. Let's take the wheel hub out, the rear wheel hub. Or thingy, my jig. And then the whole housing, but I need to get a man. We'll need to uh, take things apart here. All right. Rubber bushing it is first. Then the suspension arm. Everything needs to come off for this one. The shock absorber. All the upper arms and the trailing arm. I think that's the trailing arm. No, that's the suspension arm. There we go. Almost there. There we go. Oh, still not done. <laughs> There's still something in the way. Another bushing, I think. Small rubber. Bu oh, bloody hell. Look at this. We need to take everything off. They better pay us a lot for this. I mean, screw the whole, oh, just give us 20 bucks and, and plus the material stuff. No. We had to take the entire bloody thing off. Yeah, I thought that wouldn't work. So this needs to come off as well, unfortunately. Let's see. I want to move the uh, camera. Let's see. Oh, that needs to come off. And something else needs to come off. Come on. Oh, the wheel needs to come off. All right. We might have to uh, change some stuff here as well. I oh, know we've already changed that. All right. So there we go. That comes off. And then the sway bar comes off. Because it is not in a good condition. There we go. Perfect. And this car is getting a makeover. They will be paying for this quite a bit. The work alone, I mean, I am a professional. Or something. Look at this. Look at this. This side has been completely taken apart. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, assemble mode. I hope, hopefully I haven't forgotten something. That would be really bad. If I had forgotten something back there. Wait a second. Rear suspension arm. Do I have any others? I mean, I didn't put a new one. I mean, there wasn't a new one on there. Eh, 82%. Eh, well, I'll have to replace them probably anyway. But yeah, I'm not gonna give them a new one. Right, lots of stuff going back in now to get this thing back together. And the brake disc, and the wheel hub, and the brake pads, and the caliper. There we go. There's a rubber bushing. The suspension arm. So much stuff. Oops. I want that thing. And also, uh, these things. Oops. The rear spring. The cap. There you go. Have I put everything together here? No, not yet. Not quite. Still quite a bit of stuff left. That. And that thing in the bag, the rear suspension arm. 
Oh, wait a second. What was the other one? 77. That's fine. I'm not giving them a new one. Oh, what was the minimum percentage they wanted for this, the parts on this car? Let's check it. 70 74%? Oh! Oh, I see. So that's not quite gonna... 74%. What was that one? Oh, 77. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. 76, 74. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so now we need quite a few rubber bushings. There's one, for example. Let's, let's put that back in. A new one. There should be another one on this side. Yep, there it is. And in goes a new one. Brilliant. Probably something on the uh, at the front as well. I'm assuming. There's the rubber bushing. The culprit. Disassemble it. For parts. Well, not really. It's not going to be for parts unless we can uh, repair it properly. All right. I think that's about it, except for the uh, ABS mod. Oh, oh no. Real hub bearing. That thing doesn't look very good. How did I miss that? Hmm. Not very happy about that. I'm doing twice the work. Even though I don't have to. Yeah, that will have to come off. Fortunately, I can just do this without taking the whole thing apart. So that's quite nice. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Yeah, look at the speed. I know I've said it many times now, but look at the speed! Alright, so just the ABS module now. Not the pump, the ABS module. And I believe we'll have to uh, lower the car for that, because I think it's up... Where is it? It should be up there at the front somewhere, so... Let's lower the car. Mm, Reno Piccolo. Uh, where's the ABS pump? Um pump in the module. There's a pump. Uh, there it is, ABS module. It's quite rusty. There's a lot of little screws. That um, ability to, you know, take that off quite quickly, uh, the screws, is quite nice now. <laughs> Excellent. There we go, the car is complete. Yeah, that was... Probably our most um, extensive overhaul so far. Look at that, almost 3,000. Oh, rubber bushing missing. Where? Have I taken something off that I haven't replaced? Apparently. Well, that's easy, the rubber bushing. I mean, we're just gonna... We're just gonna check where... Where we haven't placed one. Oh, uh, this side is fine, so it's at the back somewhere. That one is there, that one's there, that one's there, that- what? Where's the missing rubber bushing then? Huh. Check the front part then. But, uh... Oh, there it is! Look, the back wheel. How did I m miss that? Oh, there! Ugh, okay. Jeez. There you go. Perfect. Alright, we're done. It is the job. Yes, money. And experience, actually. We've got an, enough experience for another skill point. Um, hmm. All this stuff will come in handy when we don't get the provided lists anymore, but for now I think I'll take the fast disassembly. Yeah, why not? Because we do a lot of this. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Next car, what are we going to take? I would like to take this one, of course, but not quite enough experience. I guess people come in and say, You don't have enough experience to work on my car. Poor brake performance and loud exhaust. Let's take that. We haven't worked on the exhaust yet. It's another Reno Piccolo, but hey, it's not, you know, it's not a problem. So let's do that. All right. Oh, another ABS pump, brake caliper, disc ventilated, brake pads, catalytic converter, and a rear muffler. Wow. So ABS module, uh, wait, actually, the ABS pump, lots of discs, and the catalytic converter. This one might be even 
more uh, expensive to repair than the last one because the catalytic converter should be quite expensive. Catalytic converter. Oh, just 200? What? Really? Okay. Oh, exhaust. Uh, oh, bloody hell. That's quite a lot of this stuff. Which one? Rear muffler, not exhaust. Okay. Rear muffler or rear muff. That's actually... Don't read that, that if you're under 18. Rear muffler. There we go. 200. Let's put a V8 or one on. <laughs> Alright, ABS pump. A disc, an ventilated disc. ABS pump. Disc. And a ventilated disc. What else? Pads and a caliper. Alright. Caliper and pads. Alrighty. Let's move the car into one of the lifters. Another horrible green color. What is wrong with you people? Just have normal colors for your cars. Alright. Uh, so we said the ABS pump will uh, probably have to... Yeah, we'll have to do that from the engine um, uh, bay, but we'll do the... Ah, oh, did you see that speed? Look at that! It's instant, pretty much. That's awesome. Right. There's the exhaust. No, come on. Exhaust. Rear, I mean, rear muffler. Oh, that is so quick now. It's ridiculous. And there is the stuff we need to replace. The calipers. That is awesome. I want even faster and unscrewing now. <laughs> That's just, I have a dirty mind. It's, everything just sounds wrong to me. Wow, lots of stuff very in poor condition here. Look at that, 3%. All of this stuff is just horrible. Look, this needs replacing. Everything needs replacing on the back right wheel. <clears throat> Pretty much. All right. That is good. I always forget to check what is the minimum amount of, you know, percentage they want. 63%. Okay. So, uh, brake disc ventilator. That's going to be on the front. Which one? Hmm. Can't quite see. So, it's that one. Is it? What? Where is it? Oh, there it is on that side. Man, that's really difficult to see. Off you go. We need to replace that disc right away. Should we replace it with a laser disc? I don't think the owner would be very happy because the braking properties of laser, laser discs haven't been very well documented on cars. So yeah, not, not quite uh, gonna work. So I think we're just gonna do the old fashioned way and just, you know, do the boring stuff, replace the brake disc with another brake disc instead of an actual laser disc. But, well, there you go. Alright, let's uh, get the car down and uh, replace the ABS pump. Because I believe we've done everything else. Alright, so disassemble mode. That comes off. There you go. And the ABS pump. Brand new shiny one, mated to a, well, fairly used ABS uh, thingy. I forgot what it was. The pump, the controller, whatever. Module, there we go. Alright, I think we're done with this car. Yeah, yeah, look at that, 3,300 pretty much. Alright, well, another job for us, and it's gonna be the Royal Crown, with repair all engine faults and brake problems. Take it. Take it. And as always, we're going to be continuing next time. Hope. Oh my god, the color. I mean, it's not a bad looking car, but it's just the color. Ugh. Anyway, maybe we should respray it and just not tell the owner. <laughs> we'll be doing them a favor. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.